So good morning. Uh, first of all, I want to show you something that you understand this is not about sustainability, because sustainability is just the minimum. If I would ask you, how is your relationship with your husband, what do you say, sustainable, then I'm really sorry for you. Yeah? It's just the minimum. It's just like compostable. But the minimum is a lot which we need to achieve. I want to show you an example. This is the shoe of my daughter. Yeah? And to be here for this conference, I left her and, and my son in Cuba because I took them with me because I was invited to look at some real estate in Cuba and what could be done, how to reconstruct the buildings there. And, yeah, and this is one shoe yeah, because she lost the other one. And do you know why? Because she was swimming at the beach and she was not taking care of her shoes. Yeah. There are 35 million shoes, flip-flops, going into the ocean every year. And, yeah, and they're not designed to go to the ocean. So the minimum would be sustainable to be designed for sharks. Yeah, but that's, even the minimum doesn't work. There's not one pair of flip-flops on the market which is designed that you could leave it at the beach. So the, ref, the right shoe is left somewhere in the ocean. This is the left one, and I wanted to show you that we have a design problem from the beginning. I actually, yeah, there are actually 12 million tons of plastic going into the oceans every year. This is a design problem, not a moral thing. Yeah? So don't make this whole green architecture thing a moral issue, because not only the Germans forget moral issues immediately when they're under stress. Yeah? When you make it a moral thing, it's never there when you need it. Yeah? Because, yeah, I, for example, think about you in a traffic jam, how easily you try to get around and make more traffic jams for the others by that, just to get a little faster. So don't make it a moral issue. It's a quality issue. We analyze building air quality in buildings, and we find that the indoor air quality in an average one-family home in Germany is about three to eight times worse than outside urban air in Munich. So we have a quality problem. Asthma is by far the most relevant children's disease. So we have a quality problem. Don't talk about this cloudy, uh, mother earth type, type of stuff. Yeah? Seeing people rolling their eyes and what do we do to our planet? Yeah? Must but we can do positive things. We can make buildings like trees, cities like forests. So what would it be if you look at your investment and say, hey, we want to have a beneficial footprint, not minimizing our footprint. And we can do this across industries. Here, this is a building in Barcelona. This building, for example, it will, it's in under construction right now. It will make uh, butterflies, produce butterflies for the city of Barcelona. So it supports biodiversity. Every Friday, when people end the week, yeah, they will release the butterflies, the native butterflies of Barcelona. Yeah. Things are changing, but it needs you. It needs your business to help. So the Netherlands will be the first country which will no longer uh, use fertilizer. Yeah? We can go and use facades to make grow algae. It's about 200 times more productive than growing corn. Yeah? So you only need to change the design. We have a design problem. Not less bad is no good. That's why let's reinvent buildings. Let's make buildings like trees, cities like forests, and be our partners to change the world. Thank you very much. <laughs>